This Lacrosse FFA broadcast is brought to you by Farmers Bank and Trust, Locust Grove Village, Mid States Farmers Co op, Rush County Insurance, Nakoma State Bank, and Swift Services. Hello, everybody. Jeremy McGuire. We are in Lacrosse talking to the Lacrosse High School FFA chapter about National FFA Week. What a great week it's going to be, and we're going to introduce you to some of the students and find out about what's going on. So, who do we have here? Uh, Cole Pierce. I'm chapter president here at Lacrosse. All right, Cole. Uh, talk about something you guys are doing for National FFA Week. Well, one of the things that we're doing on Monday, the 20th, we have a day off, but our teachers have in service. So we're going to wake up real early and we're going to come up here and cook breakfast for our faculty and all of our school board members. And that's a really good way that, to give back to them. And we really enjoy that. So. All right. So are they going to let you cook? Well, I think so. I don't know. I'm not really much use in the wheelchair, <laughs> but I think I could do something. All right. Well, good luck with it and have fun, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And who do we have here? My name is Addie Kirshner and I'm the vice president of our FFA chapter. All right, Addie, what are you, you going to talk about? Um, one thing that we're going to try to do this week is the teachers are going to submit ad questions and us as uh, FFA members, we're going to pair with those teachers to answer the questions and then we're going to make posters to hang around the school to kind of inform uh, the other students that aren't in FFA a little bit more about what FFA is about. You guys could have some fun with that, couldn't you? Yes. What do you like best about FFA? I think I like best about how you meet so many new people about it or in it and you just kind of learn to be a leader through it. Well, good luck with National FFA Week and have some fun, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And who do we have here? I'm Jacob Showalter, and I'm the reporter. All right, Jacob, talk about what some of the things you guys are doing. Uh, on Tuesday, we plan to have a day on the farm. Um, it's where we ask all the farmers around La Crosse to bring in some equipment and some farm animals. and. Uh, we do it at the fair, the fairgrounds, and uh, uh, we bring down the elementary kids, and we show them, you know, safety rules and just how farmers do stuff around here. That's got to be a lot of fun having the little kids out there and around, especially maybe the ones that aren't around, that aren't that are city kids that aren't around it a lot. Yeah, it, they they're all really excited, and they ask a bunch of questions, and it's just a fun time. Well, good luck with it, and have fun. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And who do we have here? I'm Kale Mojo. And Kale, what, uh, what uh, office do you hold? I am the secretary. All right. Well, tell, tell us about some of the things you guys have going on. Um, in the mornings, we're going to do ag trivia, and we're going to give a ag question out in the morning over the announcements, and whoever answers first gets some kind of reward or prize. All right. So you got, do you guys, are you able to answer, or is it you guys are probably can't can you um we probably could but it would kind of be cheating so no ch no cheating here at lacrosse during national ffa week then huh oh yeah all right we'll have fun with it and good luck with national ffa week thanks you're welcome so national ffa week here at lacrosse high school make sure that you uh, just tell the ffa'ers thank you for all the hard work they put in during this week as well as throughout the year it's a great organization and a lot of fun. So for a great group of FFAers in La Crosse High School, I'm Jeremy McGuire. This La Crosse FFA broadcast is brought to you by Farmers Bank and Trust, Locust Grove Village, Mid-States Farmers Co-op, Rush County Insurance, Nakoma State Bank, and Swift Services.